So it's different when you push the button. Okay. I'll try to write low. And then I have to wipe the board. Okay. So in the center of the nucleus, we have protons and neutrons. Protons have what kind of charge? Positive. Positive. And at orbiting the nucleus, we have electrons, and they have what kind of charge? Negative. Negative. So um, to find out what element we're talking about, let's say I'm going to draw protons in blue and electrons in red and neutrons in green. I hope that can even be seen on there. So I have to pick. All right, those are protons. So everyone can take the time to figure out what uh, element you're looking at. All right, so I haven't put electrons yet. Do Shane, what element do we have? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Um, Oh, no, not neutrons. I threw those in green. Neutrons. So, how did you figure out this is nitrogen? Okay, if it has seven protons, and you just look at this number, which is called what? That's atomic number. The atomic number here, seven. And you see that anything with seven protons, right, the seven is going to be nitrogen. What isotope of, I of nitrogen do we have? Chris? Can you see that far? I don't know how hard it is to see from back there. Um, nitrogen 14. Nitrogen 14. And how did you know that? Because they had a mass number of 14. Okay. So, let's see. Proton plus neutron equals the mass number. So what is this on the periodic table, this 14 point zero number on your periodic table. Next. The mass number. The mass number. So for this nitrogen, I would call it nit nitrogen 14, not nitrogen 14.0. Why? Too shame. This is 14.0 is the average. Right. There are other isotopes of nitrogen. This one literally has 14 things in its nucleus, not 14.00 you know, eight things or whatever. This is 14.00674. This is nitrogen 14. Uh, you average all the isotopes and consider uh, how rare or how uh, frequently they occur, and then that's how you find the mass number on the periodic table. So this is nitrogen 14. Uh, when you write its chemical symbol, you would do it like that. Joshua? Um, some of the um, elements have mm -hmm. like a point two, so can there uh -huh. be like point two of protons and No. Um, protons, neutrons, and electrons are, for your purposes, not divisible. Uh, you can, and in fact when we talk about decay, what you'll see that the neutron is sometimes divided. Um, and that the proton has parts. That's definitely not my field of chemistry. Uh, you can't divide an electron as far as we, like, know, at least as far as I know. Uh, but, no, that just means that, like in this case, the mass number is 14.0067 something. Uh, you just have 14.0 for the mass number. And what that means is nitrogen 14 is overwhelmingly common to nitrogen worldwide. It's very, very, very rare that you would see another isotope. Now, what do you think the other isotope would be? 
the same? Nitrogen 15. Nitrogen 15. Because we have to account for that number being a little bigger than uh, 15. So nitrogen 15 is the other isotope. It's going to have uh, what difference? Anybody want to talk to me, Jenna? What would the difference be between nitrogen 14 and nitrogen 15? Another neutron. Another neutron. So all nitrogen will have seven protons. But nitrogen 15 will have eight total um, neutrons. So it has a total of 15 things in the nucleus. Um, and so almost all nitrogen is 14. Uh, when you average all the masses of all the nitrogen, you find that there's a tiny bit of nitrogen 15, so you get a tiny increase in the average mass of the nitrogen uh, nucleus. So the, this is an average. There is no nitrogen that has an atomic mass of that. It's either going to be 14 things in the nucleus, 15 things in the nucleus, but nowhere in between. So if I get rid of the isotope, and remember, both are isotopes of nitrogen. The main one isn't nitrogen, and then this guy's an isotope. They're both isotopes of nitrogen. So if you're asked, like, what three things are isotopes, you need to pick three things that have the same number of protons, the same atomic number, okay, that they're the same element. To be an isotope, uh, they have to all be the same element. So, how would I place electrons around nitrogen 14? Okay, if we're talking Bohr orbits, Chris. Okay, so we want two in the first one, and then eight. No, actually, hold on. It's eight. So, but for this, uh, yeah, for this atom, so it would five. be five. And well, eight. how many is that in all? Oh, right, seven, not 14. Ah, oh, I fell into the trap. I fell into the trap. Don't fall into that trap on the test has to be equal to the number of protons, not the, not that number, right? So seven protons has to have seven electrons to have a balanced charge and be an element. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the Bohr orbit could hold eight, but it doesn't need to be full because we need to have seven total. So you have two and then eight. If we had a bigger number of protons, a different element, like calcium, let's pick calcium. How many protons would calcium have? 20. All right. So I'm just going to write like this. And calcium has an average atomic mass of 40.078. So most calcium uh, atoms have how many neutrons? They have 20 protons, and the mass is 40.078. 20 neutrons. Mostly 20 neutrons, and some might have what? 21. Some might have 21 neutrons, but we'll pick the abundant isotope and go for that. So, if I want to draw some Bohr orbitals, Joseph, how would I decide how many electrons I'm going to have in all before I mess up? You take the number of protons. Number of protons. So, 20 electrons, and where will I put them? In the Bohr orbitals. Okay, so how many go in the first? Two. How many go in the second? Eight. Eight. And that's ten total. How many can go in the third? Ten. And I need all ten. Right, isn't it eight to eighteen can go in the third? But I need to put ten. So I have two in the first, eight in the second, ten in the third. I could have up to 18, but I only need 10 to get my total of 20 electrons. So that would only fill two Bohr orbits and half fill, or partly fill, a third. Okay, so that's a quick review of last week. You guys did a lot of bean counting and such. Ryan, do you have a question? Okay.
So, um, uh, hi, Joe. Yes, please do. All right. Um, so my name is Joe. If you didn't know that, and I am a person called a theater captain for 